in the mental health sector. Um, nowadays, a lot of employers are looking for both um, academics as well as some experience. So completing something such as an apprenticeship is a really good way of demonstrating that you can work, but also that you can actually apply those skills that you've learned towards an actual job role. There is no normal day in social work. It can be varied and atypical, um, especially when compared to other roles. So sometimes you might go out in the morning to visit service users, sometimes it'll be in the afternoon. Other days you'll have to do um, training, either hosted by the council or externally with other organisations, such as like Women's Aid. Um, sometimes you might have to do um, observations, so you observe um, the professionals you work with as they fulfil some of their duties. Um, and other times it's just generally uh, completing the tasks that are assigned to you, such as the coursework, or maybe you've got to do um, a video or maybe host some kind of event. So it can be very varied. I was most worried about getting in professionals way or causing some upset especially with the service users. Um, mental health is such a serious topic that you don't want to say the wrong thing and possibly make a situation worse. Fortunately if you do join this apprenticeship the people around you are such friendly and brilliant people that they will support you and even offer you training and give you some valuable insight into experience on how you should behave and what you should do in certain situations. So you, all the worries that you have will eventually be discarded. My biggest challenge was learning how to balance the role of the apprenticeship. So you've got two roles. You're basically a student, but you're also a functional member of the team. So you need to fulfill your duties in the office and out in the public. Um, so as time goes on, your roles do tend to increase. So that allows you time to acclimatise to the situation. And there are also really brilliant people around you to help when you get stuck. So in the end, I did overcome that challenge quite easily. everything. I don't think there was a moment where I disliked the apprenticeship at all. I enjoyed meeting the team, I enjoyed working with the team, the managers were all really approachable and friendly, all really great, all really experienced. I enjoyed meeting all the other professionals, all the service users I worked with. Um, I loved having that impact where I could give people the tools to improve their own lives. Um, I enjoyed learning all the different things about the, the social work role. Um, how important social workers can be in society and even on the most stressful and difficult days the good that you were doing would always outweigh the bad. I enjoyed my apprenticeship so much that I decided I wanted to become a professional social worker. Um, Recently, I got accepted into the Think Ahead Schemes 2020 cohort, which means that in two years after general study and on the job experience, I'll become a professionally qualified social worker. Um, it is fully funded and I do get paid for it, so it is a really good opportunity and it wouldn't have happened if I didn't do this apprenticeship. So thanks to this apprenticeship, the sky's the limit.